We have Community Music School Manager and Music on Tap Coordinator, Colleen Monahan, and Director of Fund and Audience Development, Belle Cody. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great to have you here. We had uh, Matthew and Stephen on uh, a couple weeks ago, kind of lay out the whole year. But um, today I thought we could talk about like what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it does sound great. <laughs> uh, tonight, you are performing. I am, yes. yep. I'm a harpist and I'm playing for one of the open houses tonight in town. So. It's yes, fun. it's one of Jennifer Scanlon's properties in mm -hmm. the Spring Mill subdivision, and they're going to have like food and refreshments and live entertainment. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do, do you have certain songs that encourage people to buy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I do, but I should work on that list. <laughs> All right, well, you got some time to think about that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, upcoming offerings at the JSO, the school, Music on Tap. What's up first? Absolutely, yeah. So first we have our Concert of Glow, which is February 2nd and 3rd. Although the third sold out very quickly, so we only have tickets available for February 2nd. And this is our first time partnering with the Jackson County Fair. Um, and the concert's going to be in the uh, County Tower Ballroom right over here. So, so. there'll be corn dogs? <laughs> <laughs> no corn dogs, unfortunately. There will be wine. And it's going to be uh, just a quartet featuring music of Fleetwood Mac. And everything's just going to be lit by candles. So it'll be a very intimate setting, perfect for a date if you're interested in that. And a nice reason to get out of the cold for, or into the cold for a bit, I guess. I will be, I'm, I'm coming to the Friday night Oh, one. exciting. So Good. we should eat first or after. Yes, not yes. During. I would recommend not <laughs> eating during our concert. Don't eat during the concert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be very nice, very intimate, about 200 people in a room just listening to some music together. And I'm very excited. This is kind of a venture into a new type of concert mm -hmm. for us. We've never done anything like this before. Uh, we're very excited bringing it to Jackson and seeing how many people are interested. But... We're also very curious to see what the, those attendees say about this performance. So we'll be surveying and seeing if this is a series we should do regularly or how to move forward. I'm anxious to both see and hear. Brandon has been at events where there's music and he says the acoustics are really good. Mm. And the space, I can't wait to see it all lit in candlelight. Yeah, it's going to be very yeah. cool, very special. And the music, I'm sure it's going to be awesome, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you get to hear some favorites, like Landslide is going to mm -hmm. be on there. So Landslide everywhere. It's all, all of the greatest hits along with the best deep cuts. <laughs> <laughs> so. And I yeah. hear we might even be graced by the presence of our executive director playing Cowbell. Yes. Oh, more so, Cowbell. Yeah, more yes. Cowbell. <laughs> a little cameo. Yep, exactly. He should arrive on a, like a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> I think he would love that. That would be perfect. <laughs> all right, you've got, that's not all that's sold out. Your first music on tap is already sold out. That's yeah, correct. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this, or next Saturday, the 27th, Haywood Banks is sold out. But don't be disappointed because uh, February 17th, we have um, our next music on tap concert, which is the Indie Night. All right, so I've never heard of this uh, indie group, indie pop. It's called, you said it. Mickey Ficky. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Ficky, um, they're a band that I really love. Is um, it a, a band or a person? It's a band. Okay. So it's a trio. It's a trio of young guys out of Nashville, um, and they play indie pop, but they, it's a keyboardist, a drummer, and a trumpet. So it's not your typical oh. pop band, and they draw a lot on... They're very jazzy and funky, like they're a very... Um, Is like, it vocals? Yes, vocals too, We're great songwriters. Um, so it's like a, a light-hearted band, but they have very heartfelt songs. I think that uh, they could be your new favorite band. <laughs> well, there you go. And yeah. with, uh, it's Valentine's uh, week that yes. week, so that could be a great date night. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I think all of these could be great date nights. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yep, we also have um, a classical concert coming up, Greetings from Scotland. 
There's three different show dates to this one. There's a Friday night, a Saturday night, and a Sunday afternoon. And like you're saying, date night, this one's really great. It's right downtown, so you could grab some food before and head to our hall for a performance. It's going to be the music of um, Schumann. It'll be uh, uh, also Clara Schumann's music, so it's not not just male music. We've got some female composers in there, too. Hmm. And we also have um, Clara Saitkulov is our violinist that's going to be featured on this concert. And two years ago, she was on one of our concerts because she had won a young artist competition. But by popular demand, she is back. She is an amazing soloist and really one to watch as well. She puts on quite a show, so I'd recommend it. Well, I'm interested because we've been watching Shetland on BritBox. We're on season eight. So I bet there's a lot of, you know, that type of music that I'm now familiar with from watching the, the murders of Shetland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So greetings from Scotland at Weatherwax Hall. And even mm -hmm. those three concerts, people don't need to see all three because they're the same thing each day. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same show each night. We're just doing it more times than one uh, so we can reach as many audience members as possible. Mm -hmm. Give mm -hmm. you some options. Yeah. yeah. And a quick reminder, too, our uh, classical concerts always have $5 student tickets. So, and that, you know, that goes for college student. students and below, you know, even kids get that $5 discount. So, if you have a family that you want to take with you, can't get a babysitter for that night, you can still come. The ticket itself is just 5 bucks. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. You no, can't. you can't. No. And there are several, how many are left? Scotland, uh, Scotland, then Switzerland, Switzerland then and Austria. Austria. Okay. So yep. two more after the Scotland concert mm -hmm. for this season. Cool. Yeah. And the next event that will be sold out <laughs> will be the Irish Festival. Oh yeah. Is that it sold is. out yet? Um, that's a good question. Is, if it's not yet, it, <laughs> it will, will be. It, it will, will be. be. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So get your tickets right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Belle, uh, I do have the details on where uh, Belle is performing. And you graduated from Michigan State, right? I did. Mm -hmm. And your degree is in? Harp performance. Harp performance. Yes. Whoever, who would have <laughs> ever thought there was a degree in harp performance? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yes. So I think for, to reward you for all of that uh, education and work, people should come to the open house tonight. Yeah. <laughs> now, are you going to play in the orchestra? Do you play, play in the orchestra too? Every once in a while I do, mm -hmm. yes. Um, I'm not, we don't have a specific harp player right now. We have lots of subs, and I prefer to talk to all of our audience members because I love <laughs> this community. But I do play every once in a while for our Pops concerts, but... You know, I like teaching and playing weddings a little bit more. Okay, so you, <laughs> you're teaching harp? Uh, I do, yes. Uh, I'm actually one of the commu community music school teachers. So you've got, when does the next classes start for community music school? Uh, second semester has already started. Okay. Um, and we do have some new classes this semester. We have um, an adult piano class. We have uh, beginning and intermediate guitar and as always we have private lessons available on a huge list of instruments including harp <laughs> um, so if you are interested in learning any instrument please reach out to the school or to me and i will get you signed up for something amazing <laughs> the event open house tonight it's a real estate open house for jennifer scanlon and the brokerage house at 4945 spring hill in jackson that's off Ruman, and it runs from five to seven, and they will have food from Grazing Time and music by Bell Cody. Mm -hmm. Cool. Beautiful. And for all the other things we talked about, the JSO box office is where to get your tickets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or you can get them online too, if Good that's point. easier. <laughs> we'll see you at the next event, which is the Concert of Glow. Concert of Glow. <laughs> February 2nd. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. From the JSO, Colleen Monahan and Bell Cody. Well, stay with